What's wrong? Oh, I can understand your reluctance. I'm in the middle of investigation work. And this is a real hands-on approach, which is great because this stuff is ooey and gooey and oh so slimy. What is her question, I can almost hear you ask? Well, it's easy, really. What makes slime slimy? They don't need to touch it, so like, it just feels all gooey and stuff, and it's like mud. Because of the gooey stuff? Slimy stuff? I don't know. All the gunk in it and stuff. Slime is slimy because um, it's all like gooey. Slime can go slimy when it gets all water in it and, so, and it gets all gooey. Hmm, I wonder. You know, the question may seem rather simple, but I think the answer is altogether a different thing. I wonder if it's got anything to do with the ingredients. Hmm. Perhaps I should concoct another brew. <laughs> so it's slime you want, is it? Let's make a fish. <laughs> Maybe with the innards of a fish. Oh. About the bottom of a beetle. <laughs> the juice of a spitting spider. <laughs> now, if you want slime, all you have to do is add soap flakes to a little hot water. Soon you'll have a piping hot bowl of your very own slime. Today, one bowl of a salam coming up. Huh? And here is the recipe. Nothing too difficult with this one, which makes it twice as good. All you need is one cup of soap flakes. Add to that three cups of warm water. And then you beat it. You give it a jolly good thrashing until the flakes are dissolved. <laughs> Looks pretty good to me, but this is too hot to use at the moment, so I'll put it aside. And it just so happens I have a little one I whipped up uh, earlier. There. Slime. Doesn't it look great? It's like a jelly or some kind of pudding. Of course, you can't eat it because it's soap. It smells so clean and fresh. Oh, and it feels so good. It's cool and soft and smooth. It's sensuous, luxurious and slimy, really. And what's neat about it is it's quite solid at the moment. You can sit things on it. But when you mix it all together, oh, it becomes runny and slimy and ooey and gooey. It's great to play with because it doesn't splash very well. Watch. Hardly splashes at all. And when you hold it in your hands, it makes them look very, very messy. Alrighty, we're going in. I'm about to find a substitute for slime and you're coming with me. Oh yes, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Come back here. We need to find a substance that has similar properties to slime. A good substitute. And then I might work out what makes slime slimy. So, in I go. Whoa! Okay, it's cold, it's wet. It's slippery and it's slimy. It doesn't splash very well. Mmm, it smells beautiful. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, so we know what slime's all about. Oh, <laughs> it's very slippery. <laughs> Let's try out a possible substitute. Sand. Okay, what can I feel? Well, it's not wet for a start. 
and it's not smooth and slippery and slimy. It's actually gritty and a bit rough. It doesn't smell very good. <laughs> it doesn't taste very good either. Okay, it's not a good substitute for slime because it doesn't splash and no, oh, no, it doesn't feel very good at all. Okay, water. Woo! It's cold like the slime. It's wet like the slime. It does splash really well. Maybe too well. It doesn't seem to have any smell at all. Mm. And it's not really slippery and slimy. Mm. No, it's not quite right. How about mud? Ooh, it's cold. It's cold like the slime. It's wet. <laughs> it's slippery. <laughs> it pongs. And it doesn't really splash very well. In fact, it flows a lot like slime. Aha! The scientist in me says that mud is very similar to slime and that it has this internal friction. It resists flowing. And there's a word for that. It's called viscous. It's time to check out viscous liquids. And I have some here that you may well recognize. We have toothpaste. Next, tomato sauce. And my favorite, chocolate sauce. A wonderful viscous liquid. Right, which one of these liquids is going to be the most viscous, have the most internal friction and move the least? Let's find out. Are we ready? Woohoo, the race is on. Chocolate sauce and tomato sauce have the same viscosity. They're flowing reasonably easily. And that toothpaste, that ain't moving at all. Toothpaste is the most viscous. It has the most internal friction. The trick with slime viscosity is that those soap particles are clinging together, causing internal friction. And more internal friction means more viscosity. So if I add water, I'm going to alter the viscosity. And I reckon I'm going to make it flow more easily. Let's see. Oh yes, look at it flow now. It's actually slopping about. And that's because the particles are further apart. They're not clinging so tightly to each other. Whew. Okay, well let's test another theory. This slime here has been made with less water, so it should be more viscous. Those particles should be really clinging tightly to each other and causing lots of friction. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is very viscous. There's lots of friction and it is very solid. So what makes slime slimy? Viscosity, internal friction. Add too much water and those soap particles can't stick together and it will flow too easily. Not enough water and there's a fraction too much friction. If you'd like a fact sheet for this or any other Susie's World program, write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland. See you next time. New Zealand on air, we couldn't have done it without you.